Shifting our focus now, Kristalina Georgieva, the Managing Director at, at the International Monetary Fund, has warned global leaders over challenges economies worldwide have been facing and said that the global economy faces perhaps its biggest test since the Second World War. Now, the IMF chief has warned against geoeconomic fragmentation. Georgieva said that the cost of further disintegration would be enormous across countries and people would, at every income level, would be hurt. And the agency is also of the opinion that the growing pressures threaten economic growth worldwide and some countries may face recession this year. We have downgraded our projections for growth for this year in April for 143 countries. This is 86% of global GDP. And since then, in a short period of time, a little bit like the weather here in Davos, the horizon has darkened. We are looking down this uh, 2022. It is going to be a tough year. We have commodity price shock in many countries, and the particular shock I want to bring our attention to is food price shock. Nonetheless, think of numbers. 3.6 is our prediction. There is a long way from 3.6 to global recession. What we may see is recession in some countries. And now for more on this, Sumit Chaturvedi, Vyond's business editor, is joining us live from Davos, where all these major developments are currently happening. Sumit, thank you for joining us. Now, how do you assess the severity of this warning? They've painted a rather grim picture by the IMF chief. Oh, clearly she has, uh, first of all, compared uh, to the weather in Davos, and I can tell you that uh, clouds come and go in Davos, it rains sometimes, but the big question is, what about the clouds on the global economy? Well, they are da getting darker if you listen to some CEOs, some economists in some corners, uh, while the others say there is still possibility the growth can come, there can sun be shining on the global economy. Uh, as we go along, there are many challenges which are being faced by global economy. The biggest one is Russia-Ukraine war because that is something which no one knows where it is heading. It is clearly causing a lot of trouble for developed economies, developing economies, all of them. The biggest uh, result uh, that has come from there is uh, oil shock and the oil is clearly at $110 to a barrel. It's a big, big problem for many countries. You have seen Sri Lanka slipping into crisis, Pakistan facing financial crisis, many other countries are on the brink of crisis as well. Mm. So looking at that, coming from Ukraine, Ukraine war, that is the biggest uh, risk to the world, world economy. And apart from that, inflation is there, high price rises, supply chain shocks have also been witnessed over the last few months. And in addition, the interest rates are rising. So never uh, ever I have seen this kind of uh, tense environment here in Davos right. when it comes to overall discussions on the economy. That's what is happening here. Right, so Mita, also what are the positive solutions do you think uh, to avoid any uh, sort of uh, avoiding any world recession? Uh, that's what is being discussed here at length between by the policymakers, thought leaders, CEOs, business leaders, because everybody is going to lose if a recession happens. Remember, we had just come out of a COVID-19 pandemic. Many it, at many places, like in China, uh, the overall impact is still visible. It is still causing a lot of trouble to China's economy. So that was one of the biggest factor two years ago for many countries. It is still there. And going forward, we are towards a growth path that is good to be said. Solutions are being discussed. How can companies come together? Countries also come together and all these stakeholders come together to talk about the possible solution because the world is interconnected like never before. One problem leads to problem in other parts of the world as well. So solutions are being discussed at length, including how to uh, let the money go from one country to another, how IMF can play a big part and big role here. We have seen uh, IMF right. bailing out many economies, trying to bail out them also. So the world is interconnected and the solutions are being discussed here. All right, well, Simon, thank you so much for bringing us all the updates. Beyond is now available in your country. Download the app now. Get all the news on the move.